Is this the barrier that's keeping the Zoogle in that Nath mentioned? Looks like it. Our Zoogle pal should be on the other side. This barrier is weird. It looks old and half-finished. Plus, he said it was okay to break. I mean, we won't need it anymore once the Zoogle's gone, right? So what does it matter? Did they really think that barrier was enough for a Zoogle like that? It was. That thing was sturdier than you give it credit for. Really? So that's the Zoogle, huh? This should be a piece of cake. Don't get careless, Law. Not a chance! Strike! Oh, 
Any more of this and I'll burn out! letter doing in a place like this? Hell if I know. I highly doubt that Zoogle was trying to guard it. Still, somebody must have left it for some... <sighs> Law. Huh? What's up? Something up? It's from my old man. My dear son, I wonder how things will be between us by the time you read this. In any case, I first want to congratulate you on all that you've accomplished. Making it this far requires a strong body, fine technique, an unwavering spirit, and most of all, friends that you can count on. If you have all of that, then I, as your father, have nothing to worry about. Those things together will always keep you on the right path. That brings me to what I really wish to discuss with you. As with all of us, there will someday come a time when you'll be a grown man who can and must think and act for himself. Whether you'll live in a world where blood will no longer be spilled between Danins and Renans, or when that day arrives, Nobody can say. But even if peace still eludes us then, you'll have to decide how to live in this world. Listen to others with an open heart, but don't be swept away by their words. Always live on your terms. One more thing. If I ever see you again, I hope to say this to you in person. But neither of us knows what tomorrow may bring. Know this. Whatever you think of me and what I've done, your mother and I love you very, very much. And there's nothing in this whole world that will ever, ever change that. Your father, Zephyr. Zephyr. I... I can't believe he's only telling me all this after he's gone. What am I supposed to do with this? Zephyr once told me that living freely meant being your own master. I think he wanted to make sure you know how he felt one way or another. What you do with that knowledge is up to you. But that still doesn't explain why his father left that letter for him here of all places. Don't forget, we were led to this place. We may well get some answers if we go back to the source of all this. 